I'm broke, so I flip 30 items in 30 days to see how much I can earn. There's YouTubers like Gary Wee who claim flipping is one of the easiest sources of money. And in this video, I try it out. I will show you what I flipped, what I earned, and what mistakes I would avoid if I had to do it again. But before we dive too deep, what the fuck is flipping? In essence, it's buying an item low and selling it high. How do you find those items? Let me explain. I went through different ways of purchasing items. You can go to eBay, you can go on auctions, garage sales are really nice, Facebook marketplace has a lot of good deals as well if you know how to find them. Another good place to go to is secondhand stores. Also landfills. Some landfills have little stores where you can go to and they sell the garbage basically. This is where I found my items. After I sourced the item, I would then list it on Facebook Marketplace to sell. So what sold and what did not sell? The items that worked best for me were pots, vacuums, and video game consoles. But now, what items did not sell? One of them was this alarm clock. This vintage piece. It's super out of date. Didn't sell. A laptop. I bought it for $1,100. It didn't sell. Okay. All right, I got a little update here. The laptop did end up selling. So here's the updated numbers. I sold 18 of the 30 items and those items cost me $1,368. And I sold them for a total of $2,375. Minus roughly $200 in transaction fees because I sold the laptop on eBay is roughly $2,175. This equals a profit of $807 in just 30 days by flipping one item every single day. Imagine I would have done two, three, four or 10 items. That's the reason I quit my job. There's some advice and mistakes that I learned along the way. Don't buy outdated technology. People don't run around with 2005 iPods anymore. High ticket items take longer to sell. Another thing I would tell myself is to focus on useful items. Useful items include things like pots and vacuums, which I mentioned before, which are very easy to sell as everybody needs them. If you buy art pieces, they might be a little bit harder to sell. And also here's a little tip for selling things faster. Buy name brands. If you see two pairs of shoes, one of them is Air Jordan and the other one is a Chinese knockoff brand, you already know what to buy. Even though you can have good items, if you don't list them properly, they will take longer and people will not be ready to pay as much. So always focus on the listing process. And most importantly, all of this advice is useful under one single condition. You have to actually do it. You have to go buy and list the items. That's the only way you can learn. So it's time to buy and flip some new items. And if you're interested in making money while writing, watch this video next in which I tried out writing on Medium for 30 days. Thanks for watching.